Hello, my name's Kerry and welcome to another episode of Bearded Mixology. On today's episode, due to the fact that Wimbledon's just started, I'm going to be making a drink that's synonymous with the tournament, the Pim's Cup. Now, due to the fact that at the moment there's another sporting tournament happening that people actually care about, I kind of forgot that Wimbledon was starting, so I haven't had a chance to go and buy an actual bottle of Pim's. So today I shall be using Oxford Summer Cup. This is what Jennifer bought. She loves a bit of a bargain brand. I'm sure it'll be just as good. It's not quite as strong as actual Pims, but I'm sure the flavor will be very similar. So we'll see how it goes. So let's have a go at constructing a Pims cup or an Oxford Summer Cup. First of all, I'm gonna put some mint leaves in. These are from the allotment. They've gone a little bit dry, to be honest with you. So I hope the, the flavors are all right. Give them a slap to release the uh, any oils left in them. Straight in there. Then we're going to go with a couple of slices of cucumber. I'm not putting too much cucumber in because I've got a slight allergy to cucumber. It's not a real bad one. It just makes my throat go a bit itchy and the corner of my mouth swell up a little bit. So just two pieces. Then we've got some strawberry. There's about one and a half strawberries here. Cut up, taking all the, the green bits off and whatnot. And finally, half a slice of orange. You could put some lemon in it as well. I haven't got any lemon. I buy them and I waste them. I don't I don't use them unless I'm making a video really. So yeah, I've never really got lemons. So that, that's your fruity element to start with. Next, we're going to add the pims or the not pims as it were. 60 millilitres, two ounces. It's not a strong drink anyway, pims. This one's a little bit weaker than regular pims. Um, but this makes the drink ideal for, you know, session, long, long thing, if you don't want to get hammered. So there we go, 60 millilitres of Pims, fake Pims. Then we just get some ice and fill the glass to the top. As much as you can get in to start with, you can always top it up again later if you need to. And finally, you just top it up with your mixer. Now, traditionally, I think it's lemonade, but I've also seen that people use ginger beer or ginger ale, and I'm really digging the ginger beer at the minute. I quite like it, as you might see in an upcoming episode. So I thought I'd go with that one, just to give it a bit of spice, a little bit of heat. As always, when you pour fizzy drinks onto ice, you have to be careful it doesn't fizz over. There we go. And for garnish, I'm just going to get a piece of orange, stick it down the side, and there you go, a Pim's cup. So let's give it a try. Hopefully the cucumber won't send me into some kind of allergic shock or something. Too late now, if it does, it does. Mm, that's really nice, that's very refreshing. The strawberries and the orange, you know, really sweet and everything. The the fake Pims, it's only 15%, so it's not strong. You wouldn't even know it's particularly alcoholic. Proper Pims is a little bit stronger, but again, I can't imagine it's a, it's a mind blower. The ginger beer, genius. I'm, I'm sure it's lovely with lemonade, but that just little bit of spice and the warmth from, from the ginger beer, delicious. And it goes along with the, uh, even the cucumber and the mint, give it a kind of vegetal, you know, background flavour makes it more refreshing I think so yeah perfect day drink for those folk who like to uh, sit on I don't know Edmund Hill or Murray's Bulge or whatever it's called you know with their permanently rosy cheeks and Panama rats but yeah very nice drink if you've not had one before I'm sure most people have but if you've not had one before give it a try it's uh, quite a tasty drink the Pim's cool. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you've tried the Pim's Cup, let me know what you think to it. If you've tried it with both the fake one and the real one, what's the difference? Um, if you have enjoyed the episode, as usual, click like, subscribe and the bell icon on the YouTube. Check out the Instagram. And as always, everybody, please stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you all again with another episode of Beard of It's Thanks for watching.